In good health for the first time ever, and that in itself is a story. A National Football League executive has admitted there is a link between football and a debilitating brain disease. Dr. McGeorge is here with a major shift from previous denials of an association between the sport and CTE. Well, that's right, Karen and Devin. You know, repeated blows to the head, whether they cause a concussion or not, are part of many sports, especially football. Growing evidence that these repeated blows could cause permanent brain damage, known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, well, that is now finally being acknowledged. The question was simple, directed at a high-ranking NFL spokesman during a roundtable discussion on Capitol Hill Monday. Do you think there is a link between football and degenerative brain disorders like CTE? Jeff Miller, the NFL's executive vice president for health and safety policy, answered in the affirmative. The answer to that question is, is certainly yes, but there's also a number of questions that come with that. Mr. Miller was citing research from Boston University that found evidence of CTE in brain tissue of at least 90 of 94 deceased NFL players. Doctors believe repeated concussions and blows to the head over a number of years can lead to the degenerative brain disease. It's clear that something is going on in the brains of, of these players. Uh, and, uh, and really the next question is what do we where do we go from here? There's no clear way to change the game of American football to prevent all head trauma, a fact that has one high school football standout in Pennsylvania turning down more than a half dozen full-ride college scholarships to play football. I was worried about my health, and I said, you know what, I can't play football, I can't put myself in risk. In a statement to NBC News, the NFL stood by the latest acknowledgement of a link between CTE and football, writing, the comments made by Jeff Miller yesterday accurately reflect the view of the NFL. Now, this acknowledgement is a really big step forward because as recently as Super Bowl week, a doctor who leads the NFL subcommittee on long-term brain injury denied any link between CT and football. And hopefully, this is going to open the door to finding yeah. solutions and moving forward. It's an enormous issue that the mm -hmm. league has got to figure out. You're going to have a lot more Calvin Johnsons deciding, mm -hmm. look, I'm getting out of this. It's not worth it. That's yeah. exactly it. And then, of course, you know, you've got to look at the legacy costs. I mean, there's a lot of damage that's already been done. Yeah, right. yeah. So. Exactly right. Yeah. All right, Frank. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm.